security and cyber crime. Sir, this is to give uh, throw light on what is happening in cyber space. Uh, Chennai, Bangalore Highway. There was a lot of problem. A person puts out a tweet saying nine women have been murdered and their bodies disposed. He puts out a video and the video is uploaded from a foreign file. We affect an arrest. We find out who is behind it. He belongs to a Tamil chauvinist organization called uh, Nam Tamil Adhikti. They have roots all over the world. They have uh, sympathizers all over the world. They have elements borrowed from the band LDT organization. So they start attacking me for affecting the current. Subsequently, again when I get shifted to another district, we are required to register an affair, we arrest it. Continuously they attack us. That's my wife, she's my batchmate, she's also a police officer. She was attacked, her photos were mocked. And then they put out uh, my children's photo and they had uh, openly two SPs. They put out my children's photo and they told that uh, we will eliminate them. If not now, after your retirement. That kind of uh, open assault on two SPs. This, the public is also watching. So coming to the point on this topic, we gave a complaint. The government was supportive. The police department was very supportive. Three FIRs were registered. But it has been three months now, we have not got reply from Instagram, Facebook and X, former Twitter. The point being, uh, we have escalated it at highest level. Me as a police officer, superintendent of police, got uh, upset with the, the way they were responding. So I have gone to high court seeking a direction to furnish the reply on who posted these threatening and obscene. Uh, images and also one of the prayers in the high court is to order X to take down all those offensive tweets because even now the photos of my children, wife, my photos, my photos is all there in Twitter. So being in public life, I do not want to be in that forum, so we both exited. Point being, they don't respond to queries of law enforcement agencies. This is a matter pending in the high court now. I am the